progress ended. Hello, this is the practice demos for the MIT IAP blockchain prototype jam. Hopefully we've got Steve on a hangout in the back who could maybe in, unmute himself and say hello. Hello there to the front of the room. Thank you, Steve. That was great. And can I get a thumbs up from Nasreen, who is watching the live stream? Do you see it up? Um, yes. Yes? Awesome. Beautiful. OK. So we are going to mark it. Um, first, Daza and Jonathan are going to introduce the course, talk a little bit about what we have been doing, um, say hello. Next. Oh, Jonathan can't be here. Oh. No, Jonathan. Okay. Really sad. Sad to hear. Um, so Daza. Our thoughts are with Jonathan. Our thoughts are with Jonathan. Daza is going to be saying hello, kicking off the evening. I'm going to then come up, um, maybe briefly talk about um, what consensus is and the tools um, and folks that we brought to this course, and then introduce Sam. Sam, do you want to mark it, or are you okay? Sam. Hey, so I'm Sam, and this is my talk about trust. Uh, am I coming through okay? Are you sure you said That was a mistake. So what I'm going to do before I pass to you, this is why we're practicing, is I'm going to share screen. Um, this. Does is this what we, want, what we want to do when we share screen? Yes. Okay. And then when you share it, then come out of the Hangout and then go to your slides. That's the one thing that we'll need to do. Um, so now we're in the Hangout and exit exactly go through the slides. And then you can confirm with people in the room that the slides are sh shifting. As yep. Should. Do you, Nesterine and Steve, do you guys see the slides? I do. So you're like a 20 second delay. So should you see it now? What do you see? I see. You don't see the slides. No. It's about. Oh, that, so go back to the Hangout and see if you're screen sharing. You probably aren't. We are screen sharing. Our screen say present to everybody. Maybe that might present is, to everybody. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a question of like literally asking every time. I don't know why. It is advanced technology. So it is about a twenty second delay for the. Yep, and that's that's a known factor. So we're waiting to get the okay. Now okay, so it's shared to everybody. Now we know. All right, so you can see my slides. Uh, great. The delay here. And you can hear me okay at this volume. Okay. All yeah. right. Great. Is it, is it coming through, Steve? Terrific. Uh, all right. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Almost, um, hey, um, here's the thing. The chat is not working. Can you tell us this? Thanks, Sam. Or did you just give it to me? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, so we need to test a couple more things here. Mm -hmm. um, maybe uh, can I... <clears throat> so everybody who can everybody go everybody listen we're going to test something so uh, this is where's the first page of like the splash screen for the class is this it we don't have it yet okay do, do you mind if I just make one yeah okay um, oh we well, don't have permission okay I'm gonna to go to this one. Oh, this can be the splash screen right here like this is fine uh, I'll just make a new slide mm -hmm. here wait a minute Right here, right? Mm -hmm. yep, that's fine. Okay, so we'll just do this for now. We'll make a prettier one. This is um, blockchain help thing. Okay, and now, um, okay. Uh, so the so this is the new thing that we're asking people to do. Um, MIT dot law slash blockchain. So make this very easy. Here, um, engage online now at bang 
Okay, so can people see this? Um, do you see this? You do? That's right. You see that online? Awesome. Okay, good. So can everybody go there, please? And part of what I'll say in the beginning is I'll just show people something that um, I'll sort of say, you know, well, welcome, blah, 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 as Carolyn did, said. Is this working? Why is this not working? Wait, this doesn't make any sense. This was just working. I'm confused. Hmm. Um, can people on the class page do you, do people see the form? You see the form now. Notice how it's not showing up here. Hmm. Oh, it's probably because it's cached up here in some weird way. You do okay. I'm just going to go to a different browser just so I can. Um, mm -hmm, have your say. So I'm just going to make it so people can okay, see it. Uh, what on earth is going on here? Oh, here we go. Um, so this is how, what we want to do, um, and then get better and better at, yeah. What the hell? Okay, I'm seeing it. It's not an interactive form. Okay, so anyway, imagine you're seeing a form now as you are on the screen. Um, so uh, when, when Sam, Sam is going to, you know, uh, be posing some good questions and framing the, the day when he comes up to make some opening remarks, ready everybody in the room and online, to offer your thoughts on one of Sam's kind of seminal questions, one of the questions being raised by this technology, namely, and if I could see it, I would read it, but can someone read the question? How can notions of rich reputation and blockchain based or general? Steve? I lost you. I no longer see this. On oh, I know why, because I'm not. Sam, I got the answer. Yeah. Good, put it in the form. Open your computer. Yeah, open your exactly. Then that's what we're testing now. So everyone, go to the please go to the class website, put an answer into the form, and hit submit. Do you see? Do you see a form in the oh, website? Yeah. It's not propagating. I think it may be an Athena trick or it's a live event trick. But some people see it. So anyone that sees it, please answer and hit submit. We only need two or three. Okay, and um. I'm remembering now a couple of things. One of them is that um, I don't know the dignitaries I'm supposed to say hello to, so we need a dignitaries list. Someone told us someone that was important that I needed to recognize. I need a list. I'm not sure if I can help with that. I don't know who said that. Who oh, it was that. Jonathan and the woman from Ernst & Young said her boss might be there. So I might send her an email to say, what is this person's name so I can recognize them? And there might be a government person. I'll check my email. But minimally, I think we should recognize Jeanette, Lisette, um, who will be on one of our reviewers yeah. remotely. Will Joe Lubin be? Anyone else from Consensus watching that we should recognize? I don't know. Okay. Uh, we did have somebody, but he said he had to back out. Okay, so it may just right now it might just be Lisette that I know for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll also recognize Jonathan. But any other dick people that are important, like especially if they're elected officials or if they're like someone in the community that we respect, let me know just so I can acknowledge them, please. Okay, let's see if response. Yeah. Okay. Super terrific. And what is this showing? This is showing the screen. Okay. So I'm going to come off. Did you know that you can actually use skin softener? in a pinch to make it so your hair that you didn't cut doesn't go all out, you can. Beauty tips with Daza. Okay, um, all right, and so, and that's why it is we're so happy and thankful, and now I'd like to yet again hand it off to, uh, to Carolyn, who will make some remarks as, I know you already did this, but I'm, I wanna pretend, I wanna have the experience of doing the handoff uh, and handing it off to you and saying how I'll introduce, how shall I introduce consensus? Actually, that's a question. Okay, I'm going to try it and then to see how it sounds, if, you, if it's okay. Uh, and so that's what's about to happen. So next up, uh, I'd like to introduce Carolyn Reckow, who is with Consensus and who's been a fantastic collaborator on this class. And I can say genuinely, without whom this would not have been happening. You know, thanks to her creativity and her organization and her, um, and her entrepreneurial spirit and vision. Uh, and so thank you, um, Carolyn, and to Consensus. You've been great collaborators. 
Um, so, Carolyn, perhaps you can come up and tell us a little more about Consensus and introduce our keynote speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Daza. It has been a pleasure working with you and Jonathan over the past month and getting to know all of the participants um, building these projects. It's been actually a really, really impressive experience. Um, so, Consensus is a a, a blockchain venture production studio that is building decentralized applications, mainly on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, so we do a lot of things at Consensus, but um, basically all of our activities can be broken down into three things. Um, first, we build decentralized applications for a variety of different industry pain points. Um, so we're working on things in financial services, um, in accounting, in uh, music and art, artist rights management, um, uh, gaming, lots of different stuff. We also build core components for the Ethereum ecosystem that are going to help make those applications function. So things such as identity um, and re reputation systems and token systems. And then lastly, we also build development tools um, such as um, things like block apps and EtherCamp and other tools that help developers build um, blockchain applications. So some of the projects that you'll see today actually used some of those um, development tools. We had folks from Block Apps and EtherCamp, um, a guy named Tim Coulter who built something called Truffle, who came and gave tutorials and got all of our participants going um, on the Ethereum blockchain. So next, I want to introduce Sam Kassat, who is the Chief Strategy Officer at Consensus. Um, he is working a lot on whatever you're working on. I'll, I'll get that sentence from you, what you want me to say. And he is going to talk about the promise of decentralization. We're really lucky to have him here and leading the feedback panel. Woo! <laughs> yeah, all right. Come on. Uh -huh. Consensus. Right Consensus. Consensus. Woo! Thank you, Carolyn, uh, for that incredibly kind introduction. Uh, it's such a pleasure to be here uh, with a bunch of incredibly creative individuals. Um, at Consensus, we try to do a number of things, as Carolyn mentioned, but one of the things that we do is provide tools uh, that will allow this ecosystem to proliferate and to grow, and I'm happy to uh, have been part of that. Uh, so I'll jump into my presentation, which is not up. No. There we go. Let's see it. Maybe we gotta go back to the hangout and just share screen. Right. The screens. Hmm. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> Video feedback is pretty cool, though. That was pretty cool. So, wait, will you do it for me, Carolyn, next time? Because I have no idea. Oh. What. Yeah, no, I think you're doing it right. Entire screen, and then go to present to everybody. Yep. Yep. Okay. That looks better. I will do it for you next time. So. Okay. Promise of decentralization is that we're going to change the entire world, provide access to the global economy uh, for a bunch of people who haven't had the opportunity thus far. All enabled by technology. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Perfect. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Wait a second. Um, hold on. So can, you, can you stay up there, please? Yes. Um, Gabby, what do we have for answers on the forum? So let's get the answers into Slack. How about that? Okay. That'll be our workflow. In the same yep, blockchain, copy -paste. blockchain projects? Yeah. yeah, in general, I'd say. Okay. Um, or you can DM me. And I'm gonna put the, what I'm going to do is put them in the slide and so that you can glance up on your own. I don't have permission to your slide deck. Yeah, I need to get, because right now I, I don't want to give permission to the, the entire world to my slide to modify it. So I need to just give it to your email address. Is that, is that yeah, right? Yeah, I okay. think so. That's yeah. at civics.com. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, yeah, that would be um, good. Okay. Um, and if you do that, then I want to test this 
engagement, okay. Okay. which will allow us to go deal with everyone in the audience without, we, we should be able to get an hour and 10 minutes of engagement in like 10 minutes, if I guess right. So we're putting the engagement form into? That's right on the homepage, right there. Yeah. And have you, did you, uh, were you able to select answers, um, Gabby? No, I'm typing. Type, not copy paste? Yeah, but I'm putting in introduction. Right? Should oh. I just put them in? Just rock them in there, I think, because okay. it, it's all going to be all about speed, I think. And then what I, I think we should test it that way and then and then think about what other words are needed. You know what I mean? And I'm going to literally just take, I'm going to copy and paste it right to the homepage. I'm sorry, into slides rather. Um, and um, Sam, do you, can you please, after you have provided me access, can you please email me the link to your slides? Because otherwise I never find anything. Thank you. And then I will make a magic extra final slide on your deck in which I will put the aggregate wisdom of the crowd packaged and delivered for your benefit in answer to your question. At no additional charge. Thank you. Got it, Gabby. Uh, I may have. So, um, Gabby, just to double check, uh, what we have is Carolyn, Natasha, and Brandon, right? Yeah. Three? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Three is great. That's a real test. Two, I get worried. <laughs> four is like, yeah. do we need the fourth? I don't know. Well, do we? What <laughs> <laughs> we learned from four? Learn a lot from three. Okay, I got you, Sam. Okay, here comes the first test. Yeah, your slides and your slides. Oh, mine worked. I guess I'll do it like this. Okay, boom. This is um um feedback um, from. Doing help you in one second on stuff. Um, so if you go to your last slide, yeah. Ta -da! okay. So can you yeah. wind up your remarks again? But like, but then we'll be moving to discussion. Sure. Like big finish. Well, um, do we want do we want to do it at the end uh, as opposed to? Oh, wherever you want to do it, actually. But just let me know when you're going to do it. So the later you do it, the mm -hmm. more we can get. Okay. You know All right. Well, I'll, I'll do it later. Then. I'll yeah, the later is a better sort of. Now, what I was thinking is we're going to do discussion after your remarks. Yeah. So I was thinking this will see discussion. Okay. Um, okay. So one can imagine if we have uh, a kid in a garage in Silicon Valley being able to build something uh, that essentially functions as a bank. Uh, we have a kid in Africa that can do the same thing. Uh, we have the ability to essentially IPO a company on a blockchain using tools like EtherX and Boardroom and WayFund. Uh, we can essentially add finance and economics and payments to the underpinnings of the global nervous system that is the internet. Um, this is all enabled by rich notions of reputation. Uh, it allows us to decide when to offer a loan or a letter of credit. Uh, it allows us to analyze the behavior of consumers that make more efficient economic interactions possible. Uh, so I wanna open uh, to the crowd uh, to discuss what some of these new capabilities might be that are enabled by rich notions of reputation when we combine this with blockchain. And so um, that's smooth. And now, what, so what I would suggest, probably when you're done, would say thank you very much something like that, um, okay. and then um, it would be something along the lines of you would pose the question near the beginning, okay. like say it, yeah. and then remind people again on the homepage, you'll have your opportunity to say everyone in the room, like to let me know what you think. Okay. Do your whole talk, thank you very much, uh, okay. and, then, and then I think like we'd come up for like a little bit of help and discussion, but I think you should lead those discussion in your remarks. Okay. But being able to have a little facilitation isn't bad, and one facilitation could be, Go, like when you're ready and you're done and with people thank you, rock the next slide or I'll rock the next slide. And here's what we have as answers to your questions so far. Okay. And then you literally, I think the best thing to do is like, look at them. Yeah. And then like, 
speak to two or three of them. Like I see like a number of people seem to think that trust actually means money. Well, that's interesting because we can imagine, or whatever, just speak to whatever we get. Right. And so that's how it started imagining. We're like, thank you very much. Right. So here's the answers to the, that we have so far in the room. And if you have more answers, like go to, go on to the, go on to the forum and like provide more, but just to get us started, what yeah. do you think of some of these answers? I see some interesting ones and then like yeah. rock it. All right. Is that good? Do you want to, do you want to try speaking to one? Sure. Uh, so I see that, uh, Brendan Marr has uh, has echoed, uh, I, I think, a, a very poignant sentiment uh, contained, I guess, originally in Donald uh, Coase's work. Is his name? In, in, in Coase's work, The Firm, uh, where you know he noted that uh, part of the reason why corporations exist is because it reduces transaction costs. If we can trust the people down the hall, it lowers the cost of that economic interaction. So I think that's incredibly insightful, and I think it's it's definitely part of. Uh, what we envision with blockchain technology. So um, um, just to follow so, up then, so I mean, um, just for all the rest of us who are really still learning, could you connect the dots? So what properties of blockchain technologies could express themselves how within firms and markets it's such that um, uh, transaction costs would be reduced? So for instance, uh, if I have a smart contract with you, uh, this smart contract encodes uh, a relationship that we've agreed upon. It, in many cases, automatically executes the parameters of that that relationship and, and that agreement. Uh, and in that case, I don't need to actually trust uh, that you will carry through with what we've agreed upon. Uh, and in that sense, it reduces the cost of that. The cost is minimal. It's really a thousandth of a cent or so on something like the Ethereum blockchain to execute that contract. So we've essentially uh, reaped the efficiency of a corporation with almost none of the cost overhead that would normally be associated. Okay, I think I understand. So just to read that back to you, like so costs that I'm familiar with from commercial transaction, larger work in the past would be like, get a bond to fill sure. in some of the trust, or maybe have another five years of a relationship with a party to really have enough um, of a model that they're going to do what they said they were going to do. All these things take time and money, and that is the cost that's being reduced. Exactly. So the lawyers that we would need to generate these agreements, we would need to sign them, deliberate over them, have these five years, as you mentioned, to form a relationship that might eventually lead to this, all of that becomes minimized or less necessary. Cool. Okay. So that's one good answer to the question. See any other ones that you like? And then repeat. And then that's how we do it. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Good. Any comments on that? People, does that seem sort of workable? Oh, God, that's great. <laughs> Singe my back. No, Steve. So, um, I can't hear him. Yeah, so I know how we can solve that. Um, and actually, as soon as we break, after we do one full run through, I'm going to go and get microphones from this. Okay, you just want to let you know. Yeah, that's really important. I Thank can you. project a little bit more. Yeah, it, okay. not enough though. So, okay, so <laughs> now, now that you're done, you so now awesome. um, <laughs> I, want I want you to do transitions because okay. I want them to work. All right, great. Basically. Thank you, okay. Sam. Thank you very We're much. We're going to transition next. Oops. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. We're going to, that was wonderful and uh, sort of more uh, feedback and audience collaboration participation to come. But right now we're going to take a look at all of the wonderful blockchain ventures that have been created during the MIT Law IAP Blockchain Prototype Jam. And up first, I'm going to invite Team Hotel Blockchain. Still sharing. We were never still sharing. Okay. So it's already being shared. Yep, you're all set. You can just go. Okay. And first of all, I'm going to organize. Really want to move this to the left. Okay, we can, I guess we can do that. No, it doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. What's, what's, why are you okay. Around? okay. Can I, we have time, right? Like we're playing. Okay. We're playing. So this, this needs to be like that. Well, so we're we're on the can't, can't seem to grab it. Okay. Do you, we okay. can test this. This is really right a test presentation. So mode? let's, can you, can you go through a couple of slides first just to make sure that because we're able to do it this way and this is how I think we'll have to. Because but, let's say that I come to this one or well, the, or this one. This, fine on that thing. Yeah. Yeah. You're okay on the hangout? Mm -hmm. I mean, but you can't really read it so well. Yeah. That's yeah, that's right. my concern because there's been so much. There's been so, so much we effort put into it. Because I believe for yeah. technical reasons, this is what we'll do. And why don't we test after we have fair capability? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So hotel business is very similar 
in its nature, it's decentralized, it's built on trust, and it's global. So it's very similar in that sense to the blockchain technology. So we're yeah, feeling yeah. Uh, there's a very good synergy between uh, the te technical platform and the business itself. Um, market trends are indicating that the business is on the rise, and here's participants of the new global economy, and they go through a pretty complicated transaction, and there are a lot of economic players all eating part of the pie. Um, so our hotel blockchain technology is gonna uh, bring those two players together and uh, remove a number of middlemen. Um, so Janie is gonna go to search for the hotel that she wants. She's gonna see, actually, because trust creates or reduces some of the costs, she's gonna see lower cost and opportunities, right. blah, blah, blah. And then go, let's go to the last slide, and then we're gonna practice transition. And then when we're done with transitions, and we're, before we wrap, then let's practice. Team, we'll special thanks. Yeah. I remember that, that was in Brooklyn. Yeah, and uh, that's it. Yay! Woo! All right. All right. You're and on deck, on deck. Thank you. So, so what's going to happen now is Matt and um, so I'm going to stop sharing. Yep, because Matt and are on the hangout. So I'm going to pretend that Stephen is Matt Debo right now. Um, and pretend you're Matt Debo. <laughs> here I am pretending to be Matt Debo. Here, let me put on the camera. Even better. And then just say, and then and here's my video. I'm, I'm on a plane. Hold, Hold on. on. So here's my video. And wrap it. And here's my video. Great. Great. Perfect. Let's roll, the clip. Let's roll the clip. Ah, there you go. Can you see it online? No. A little bit of delay. Right now, I see Okay. So we don't have any audio, but there is audio in the computer. If they see Steve, they, you should in about two seconds see it should transition. Yeah, but I should see it already. Do you not see it? No, it's not in the hangout. Well, do you see what do you see in the hangout? Carolyn. Oh, that's important. Present okay. to everyone. Okay, got it. Now I got it. Yep. Now I see it. So the problem is the sound, though. Where is it coming from? Um, it's HDMI. And it's coming from back here. Okay. So we want people in the room to hear. We want people online to hear as well, though. So can you can you hear the sound online? No, I only hear you talking. I don't hear anything. Because it's a delay. There's no delay in the hangout. Right? Well, but on, on the broadcast. So hold on. Can you go to the hangout? We're definitely... It? Here. That's playing from online. Mm -hmm. Can he send it to us? We have it. Yeah. It's um. Uh, um. I can also try to turn this up. What's the problem with the sound? What information do they possess? Who besides the agency has access to their data? How many times, when, and <laughs> why? In a complex IT world, it is very costly okay. and difficult and to out. track all of this information and difficult to produce the answers so when they arise. To understand it or no? The blockchain is not only a care. perfect place to store data that needs to be trusted, but also a convenient integration tool in a complex I IT world. Fit it. I want to do a capability run through right now. Ethereum and we, we have pre we have could use a backup, time. could be used to back up the information. And if you want to join us, hack with us, change the world with us, please let us know. Thank you very much for your attention, and we hope you enjoy our presentation of eClassified. OK, so I can hear it through Woo. the speaker of the laptop. OK, awesome. Great. Thank you, Matthew and David. That was excellent. And now I'm going to introduce the next project, um, Flower. I need to know this. <laughs> Flower pot gov. Flower pot gov. Flower pot gov. Here's Brendan. Take it away. Thanks. Thank you, Carolyn. Okay. Well, so I don't see myself, huh? Okay. Uh, Lexington Mass, the uh, Lexington Min Man statue is what we have here. So my name is Brendan Moore. My early background was in biology and neuroscience. 
computational uh, dynamics and computational finance. I'm an MIT Media Lab grad with a background in uh, AI, distributed computing, parallel computing, and computational finance. FlowerPotGov is about the uberization of government or the uber uberization of public and private markets. The flower pot problem is why is it so, so difficult to go from this to this or this to this? So I wanted to initially plant some flowers in a traffic circle and find that it's very difficult to do because the uh, transactions are uh, very, very difficult to do when they're small. Basically, the government will not issue a bond for my flowers. It's very difficult to talk to the town board, but in the future, we're going to find that small transactions are uh, something of less uh, risk and less effort. Uh, and we all know that if uh, the private sector had the methods of the public se sector, we would all be using abacuses. So the flower pot um, gov is really about a zero friction economy. If we take institutional and institutional finance, social contracts, and the public sector and mix them together in a blockchain, we reduce risk. So the platform is one where we have individuals who have ideas. Some of them might have a small amount of money that they want to contribute. This gets moved around. And make sure this, this is definitely five minutes, right? Okay. Is it going, is this really known to be five minutes or less? It's, I can cut out a few slides. It's got to, it's like yeah. five minutes, you're, you're, you're leaving. Okay. All right, so I'll, I'll, I'll edit a couple. Okay. Um, all right, and go to the last one and hand it off, please. Okay. It's not five minutes. That's 25 slides. Okay. Okay, just be aware of that. All right. I'll, I'll chop some up. Okay. Let's take it. Right. I, have to yeah. say, I want you to talk, but I think we need to do a readiness thing prior to going. And if it's like you're not quite ready for this format of like a rapid talk where we don't have more than five minutes, you might want to think about not presenting at this time if you don't you're not ready for a five minute presentation okay it's okay right. if you're not ready sure i'll i'll, I'll reevaluate my slides and, and make that decision yeah, we do, yeah. yeah. So rather sure. than you do a thing you're not happy with for five yeah. minutes like you would if you feel you're ready to do it but otherwise you, you, you need to pick off speaker in the next semester um, okay so great the next one? thank you brendan up next we have um bill wendell and simon with bidding wars so simon's gonna come up i'm simon hey simon simon will say this is bidding wars. We did stuff. Let's check it out. Let's, pl let's play. So the how's the sound? If you've been reading front page news lately, you can see that stocks are falling and that impacts real estate. That raises questions about overheating. Can we hear on the street? Particularly the street? in places like Vancouver and Toronto. Oh, you put it away. Um, we need somebody it's else. Not often you see a word like sleazy. This screen has to go. We need somebody else. That's because people are questioning what's with the live stream. With wars. Why? In one bid and war two years ago, 72 bids drove off for $600,000 over sure, asking price in Toronto. That raises questions about phantom bids. Can you hear it? Can blockchain enable transparency that it would prevent home buyers from being manipulated or even bidding against themselves? If so, Consumers could save billions of dollars in Yeah, It's working. It's taxpayers Great. who guarantee. So the first one I'm going to involve is this place. I skipped ahead. I'll We're choose the first. And Simon knows audio. $1.5 million. And this time, when I click place this, really the bid is not accepted. The highest bid says that $2 million. The bidding is is the the process by involving folks from them. Um, and the other guys, Peter. Excellent. We could test everyone, but excellent. Mm -hmm. Great. So, Great. Excellent. Thank you, Bidding Wars. So, a couple suggestions if you want to take them now. Uh, yeah, why don't we do it in the course of discussion? Okay. Well, um, let so me, I'll just test the last one. So, we'll walk up. I will have Chris and John and Jing will be yeah. on deck. They'll That's come right. up, they'll start, they'll click. They'll introduce themselves, they'll go, they'll just, this is their thing, they talk, they've got the whiskey, they're yep. done. That's it, so what do we want to go when we're then, finished? So I think we go back to the splash screen, and so we, we so yeah, exactly, right there. So, and we'll make that, it'll say, it'll say something, 
Um, and then what we want to say is something like, like discussion time, like, right? you're actually doing it now. Uh, discussion. And so then, so now we have to think through discussion, but I have an idea, which is that we pose a second question to the, oh, wait a minute, so we have an issue here, which is, um, Debbie, do we have a Google form to assess? I'm working on that. The, the one from Ernst and Young? Yeah, so I have like a Google form, if the problem is just calculating like the, the assessment, like criteria. We can, we have a form at least, right? Yeah, we have a form. So can we can we implement the form, please, so people can do it? Can, right now, no one knows the form. No one can do any. No one can input to the form, right? right, right. So can we fix that now? Yeah. Is it just the evaluators, or is it like anybody? Let's just start with making it so everyone can do it. Everybody at this point, right. we don't. We and don't have distinction. We can sort by evaluators because we should ask the part. You know, we can just ask their name. Okay. Right now, no one can do it. And that's, right. I just identified that we have a main missing thing here. So right. after everyone's presented, everyone, we should be telling people. There's a place where you can be evaluating. So the one thing is like there's during Sam's talk, we're saying go ahead and engage with the question for Sam or an answer for Sam that we can speak to in discussion. And when he's done, when we're introducing the demos, what I would what we're going to do then is we have an Ernst and Young um, prototype demo like um, set of rating criteria that we can ask people like uh, people that are providing feedback um, to you. So, so will that be up on the, the, the page or? That's what we should talk okay. about right now. My instinct is to put it um, at this on the same homepage, hey, Jay, but like uh, near the bottom. And we could just ask people like, just like look, look on the page, scroll down. You can see the rating tool right there. As soon as I get it from Gabby, I'll put it on the page. Mm -hmm. We should test it. Okay, so after XM Chain, I'm going back to here, and I'm saying we have, if we, those online and those in person would like to engage online, on MIT EDU law slash blockchain and scroll down. There is an evaluation tool where you can participate and um, have your feedback be heard, and we will report back on that. Um, and that's what we'll do during the discussion period, actually, partly. Like after the discussion time. period, yeah, during the discussion yeah, period. Yeah, so like as soon as like the last one's done, we can start showing people like the first few. Okay, so for the discussion period, what I would like to do, Daz, is hand yes. it off to you because Good. you have some, so I'm going to say, up next, we're going to lead um, a, just a, a facilitate. We're going to facilitate some general um, questions and comments and feedback from the audience and the uh, feedback panel. And Daza is going to be the main facilitator. Okay. Um, thank you, Carolyn. That is very good. Um, Gabby, do do I have the embed code yet? Yep. Okay. Where is it? Uh, uh, which channel? Oh, uh, DM. Okay, so if people will bear with me for one half second, this is Ernst and Young's contribution to um, what we are doing. Um, okay, let's save it. Um, can, can folks take a look um, at the home page now? And what you should see is um, prototype demo feedback. Um, actually, I'll do it up here. Although, I don't know why it wasn't, the page wasn't reloading up here. Yeah, it's a little scary. But do people see a new, well, do people see, if you go to the class page, do you see a form? You do. That's good. Okay. So, where is it here? Unbelievable. Okay, it's still not updating here. Reasons I cannot fathom. So the second form that you see should say, um, we'll fix this, but it should say napkins to launch assessment, right? Um, do you, does anyone else see that? Yeah. I see it. Okay. So what we're gonna at, what we're gonna ask people to do after the um, Sam's discussion period and prior to jumping into the demo chain is uh, like um, along with our panel of people rating, please go on the homepage and have your say on rating each of these two. And then after all the demos are done, we'll have a discussion about broad themes and all, and, and you know, we'll have a chance to see how people rated each of these demos. And we can share that during the, the discussion at the you know, last portion of, of the like event. say that as I'm introducing the demos? Yes. Like, 
page, go back. That's where you'll be able to put in your feedback. That's it. And so you'll see it's like rate project and we and right now the way that um, Gabby has done it is it's just it's a long form and it's just the same questions for each project. And then okay. So then what we'll do is as soon as that's done, like we'll um, Gabby and I will go here. Uh, excuse me, we'll go back to like the presentation slides. And then here we'll have another slide that just kind of has the top, like you know, project by project, we'll we'll find a way to reduce the ratings. So you can sort of see what they got like oh many people thought the the one that will have like a, the biggest economic impact was this one and the biggest something else was that one that'll just help us seed dialogue at the end so let's pretend that we have that slide to add another slide yep i i think i'm going to do that um the same way that i did for sam um let's talk about it as soon as we're done with this but but we need to collect the answers to the questions and put them make them appear here and we're going to do it through a slide so what, I think what you need to do is just get, get yeah, look, let's oh, go. Yep. Okay. So no, 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 thanks for the question. no, can we, can we discuss this in, oh, after? Yeah. Okay. So, um, can we, let's uh, figure out the dot discussion. Actually, first things first, Jay, come on up. So, Hey everybody, this is Jay Fedigan. Jay Fedigan will save us. Hey guys, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, Jay's done stuff in this room many times. We're, we're friends and he's a brilliant videographer who's, um, who shot many things. Um, at MIT and Sloan mm -hmm. and with me over the years. And um, so he doesn't know much about this event. Like Carol and I talked to him yesterday yeah. and I said, can I have a favor please, you know, in lack of a budget, um, and can you please help shoot this? And graciously said he would. So we just are almost done with like just one run through and like we're identifying lots of little things we have to do. Good. We're all, we're, um, the last half of the thing after a bunch of student demos is mm -hmm. going to be discussion period. And I was just going to say, that we should we should figure out how we're doing that now um and i think i know what to do but um why don't we wrap hey carolyn and uh, sam what like, can we wrap i feel like we should wrap up the um this now and then get yeah. jay involved and how, we'll, how we'll bring okay together. so but generally you, what's, you, yeah, what's happening what you need to do so right we're, we're at the very end of the discussion you yeah. were up here you were mm -hmm. engaging with Sam and audience members who have questions and want maybe want to say things yep. in the audience so let's and also reporting back on what's coming in from Gabby. Let's do it. Um, so can we? So I think for what that means, mentally you will come up here, mm -hmm. right? Um, I will come up here. I think Carolyn, you will come up here. Should we have chairs? That's this is where we get to that question. Um, I almost feel like uh, that will depend. Chairs or not will depend somewhat on Jay's um, talk about sound and okay. that stuff. But I know that we should be up here if we're facilitating yeah. dialogue. That is for sure. Um, I have a feeling we should be off to the side and not in interrogation. Like this lamp is going to make everything bad, unless you like it. Uh, like I'm not really bad at the lamp. Okay, so like if you come just like right here is like the, and it makes bad video. So if we're around here, I mean that sometimes people will do facilitation from here. And then I think that to me, I feel like there's two things that we might want to think about doing. One thing is. By the time this happens, we will have feedback on the ratings and assessment project by project, at least some of them, minimally from the person from Ernst & Young. I think all of us should fill that out too. Like when we look at it, it's just like a four questions per project. And they're cool criteria. Jonathan and I both thought they were good criteria, mm -hmm. at least for a start. And then we could look at that. I think we can speak to it a little bit. So I think it would be helpful. Broad, Jay, Jay was thinking we might want to talk about broad themes. So we only have half an hour. We can't go super deep in every project, but we can make up for that with technology. Mm -hmm. And at least we can have a slide for each project or like in a table on one slide. Here's what people thought in the aggregate on these key points for the projects. If we can look at that and I feel like noting something about it would be good. I can help lead that because I will help be familiar with the data. I can say anything like clearly people thought this about that project and that about that. And something about the project, but Jay I think was correct and Carolyn I both thought he was right too that at the end the last half hours best facilitated on broad themes as opposed to a lot of time too little time for any given project. Okay. That's as far as we got. And then after we have half an hour facilitated discussions, thank you very much. And next steps, and for next steps, I am gonna point to people talk. to like basically a sign up form for spring semester. Um, and then <laughs> exactly what that looks like, we'll find out soon. Okay, so facilitation question. How are we going to get um, the themes up? I'm guessing we're gonna pop in another slide here to have the themes up and we're talking about it. Like how's that gonna happen? Um, so, 
we hadn't discussed it yet. I think what uh, as all we know is that we're going to talk about broad themes. So we could either verbally bring up the themes, you know, and frame things. I think putting it on a slide is always better in my book. If we can, if we can identify some things to put on a slide, that will help ground us and other people. Is there a whiteboard behind this? No. Mm -hmm. No. But I mean, these are Google Slides, right. um, and so like they're liquid, and so any number of us, when we hear themes, can in real time update that as though it's a whiteboard, and everyone online can see. Oh, okay. And then after it's erased, we still have it. Because, right. I mean, there is no erase of the other whiteboard. Right. It's better. How are you getting your feedback on the slides? Copy and paste. So there's a form. Okay. So, so is, that, uh, is that Gabby? Is that me and Gabby. Me and Gabby. And okay. so we have it. So Gabby had real good questions, which is what, how do I do that? <clears> so Gabby, so we have to talk that through. This is something that I just did a moment ago with a different implementation of the same thing, which is you had a question. People filled out a form. Gabby and or I went to the spreadsheet where it dumped, copied and pasted it onto a slide. You looked up and said, here's what people think. We can automate this. We just didn't do that right now. No. Um, and so similarly for, I think, I, what I'm thinking is I want to do the exact same thing with sneaker net, basically. When people are done rating in the room and online, we're going to copy, paste the sums, basically, into a slide. And that'll give Gabby and I a chance to look at it and be like, okay, how do we depict this? Do we put it in a table, whatever? But one way or another, we'll reduce it. So like, here's what people said for rating the projects. Google will also like, create visualization for you. Yeah, good. So then that's what we'll have. And then we'll have general themes. Any themes you're, uh, you're thinking of at the moment? Yes. I mean, the, when I asked you what you want to talk about, you said that you had like four basic themes, yeah. and then you told me they're trust, um, they're like um, um, identity. reputation, identity, and something else. I would have no problem echoing your theme. I mean, you've come a long way, and then consensus has been a really good partner. Let's but do maybe, that. I can't think of any identity. Is there a theme that we're missing? Reputation, and then what was the third one? Trust. Yeah, trust, financial inclusion. That's a nice. Good Is financial one. inclusion one of the themes? So I, I call it, so I use the, the phrasing, the socialization of finance. Which the socialization, is, I like which that. Which is kind of like that, but it's also highlighting the peer to peer nature. Um, so I think we take the word the out, socialization of finance. Usually, whatever you do, get the three. Um, mm -hmm. Reputation can be subsumed into trust and identity. Yeah. Or maybe just get trust out, because that's kind of like. Identity, reputation, yeah. social vision, finance. Trust is hard trust to quantify. Oh. I think trust is in all of these things. Yep. Yeah. Or should we? Well, what, what's the thought? I, I would take it out. And the reason being, after 30 years of, of dealing with trust technologies, I found it's way more of a hassle than it's worth. It provides you very little, and it takes a lot because it's undefinable. I can measure and I can quantify risk. You know, I can I can deploy objective you know assessment criteria against any of the other ones. Trust gets me into like endless theological debates with people that I don't want to be in a room with. <laughs> and I can never at the end of the day, it's never done. Yeah. So it's like I'm at MIT for a damn good reason. Like we're going to engineer this a little bit just for today, and that's why I would prefer not having it there. Why don't we put love? If we're going to go trust, I'm going to talk about love. love. You know, one of the, 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 even better. Down. Puppies. <laughs> you know, do you think I'm kidding? There's a puppy named Hazel I could be playing with right now. So if we're going to talk about trust, I want to go get Hazel. Do you have kibble? I have pocket? kibble in my pocket. There's kibble in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this puppy. Um, so, okay, so that, is that okay? Does that make sense? Excellent. Okay. Okay, okay so what I've done is things. I have made a slide for each. I've got a theme slide. Um, with, oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. Theme slide, and then we're gonna, we'll have Gabby copy paste the feedback yeah, to each one. Gabby all that we'll together. go, we'll do that. Boom, boom, boom. Don't is that is that okay? This, this will work. To these slides, which I will Gabby. slack to you the slide right yeah. away. I'll just note everything. Yeah, to... Gabby and I should talk about the workflow. So she's asking know, a question like work. this: like it may end up being something along the lines of Gabby does something, puts it in Slack. Daza takes that and puts it slide by slide. Oh, so let us just oh, think through how we do that, but it will result in being on this slide. Otherwise, okay. it's not usable. Okay. And it's going to be as fast as possible. And so help me God, it's going to be automated soon. But we, we can do this now. We've already proven it. So you see, Jay, Jay's been having to suffer through this for like years. We're saying, we ought to be able to have everyone talk at once, Jay. And they're like, we've not, we've done, I can tell you lots of creative ways it doesn't work. 
<laughs> but I think this, we'll find out tonight. Um, it may or may not work, but I, I'm really hard pressed to understand how this is not gonna work this time. Like, I think we've done it down to the point where there's nothing that doesn't work. Although, did you know that GitHub went offline yesterday? I did not. Yeah, so it's like, so I really, like, I'm not promising anything. Like, you never know what you don't know. But, like, for a sheet, there's a guy in India working on a cooler version of this who's, like, it all came down to that heroic last night of code. And GitHub was offline. Like, and there was, like, murmurs all across this big auditorium Jonathan and I were at, like half the people working on some other project on GitHub, and there was like, <gasps> and like GitHub was okay, we're good. Sure enough. So I think we've practiced, and, and I'm going to end the, um, I'm going to oh, end the, this. yeah, and we're then we, we wrap it up. We're wrapping oh, actually, it up? Actually, I'm going to wrap or it up. Or do you want to wrap it up? Yeah, because uh, so it's at your face. You should hear this, so because this involves you. Um, yeah. Wait, we're broadcasting. Practice, yeah, that nobody hey, has a link to except Nesreen. Okay. <laughs> Can I mm. recommend maybe that you pull the podium out more into the into the light? Yeah. So, but let's do that one more when we wrap it because Absolutely. that that this is when everything pops out. Yeah. So this is I want you to listen because what I want to say. I'm going mute here. <laughs>